Hello everyone, welcome back to Planet J Tarot. Today's reading is going to be a pick a card reading in regards to your love life. You're going to pick a card that resonates most with you. This is a card that invokes the most feelings, that feels the most familiar and intriguing. Don't second guess it, just pick one. Okay, the card you pick will start this reading to show us how your person views you and how they feel about you, how they think and how they feel are two different things. And we're going to look into that today. So choose your card. Feel free to pause if you need to. And let's get into the reading. Card number one, we have the sun. Card number one, how does this person think of you? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person wants to do something very soon. This person wants to bring something to light in the relationship very soon. This is what's been on their mind in regards to you. They have the sun here, so this means that they, they see a future with you. They see something happy and they feel and think optimistically when it comes to this to this relationship they may feel like very soon there will be a change for the best a change that will allow growth that will allow things to be brought into the light that were necessary 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 to look deeper at things that will allow them to clearly decide what to do next with you how they feel They've got the three of cups here. Three of cups here. Now, this person feels like very soon what will be brought to the light is whatever this third party situation, whatever this third party situation that has been going on between you and this person or their suspicions and what they feel like that's going to come to light. Now, I'm getting that for others, though, very soon, this Three of Cups could be a celebration of some sort. For some of you guys, this is inviting other people over to a party, and they feel like this is, um, you know, a happy moment with you. Ultimately, I am getting that this is a nice, uh, a nice reading uh, for love when it comes to this person and how they think and view you. But this very soon card, this person is not only optimistic with the sun, but they are positive and confident, okay? They feel like time is on their side when it comes to this relationship. Now, this this um, optimism can be whatever, you know what I mean? It can be that they are optimistic that they are going to figure out whatever has been hidden, or they're optimistic that for whatever this third party is will contribute to the relationship now what what that contribution is um, that will depend on your relationship okay this is a general reading all right let's get one more oh we have stress we have stress and disturbance here so yes very soon your person feels like what has been causing them stress in this relationship? What has been giving them a headache, causing pressure and keeping them up at night is going to be brought to the surface. They feel like um, perhaps there are some people that have caused issues when it comes to your relationship that have obscured some things, caused them irritation and made them feel feel like something out of their control was happening something something bigger than what it need needed to be almost this person is very confident that whatever those stresses those disturbances are they will come to light but not only will they come to light they will contribute to the success of the relationship so the person that you're dealing with is someone that although they may deal with a lot of paranoia, um, being overburdened, overworked, uh, they also are somebody who is very optimistic, who sees you as someone who is their ultimate partner. 
So no matter the issue, this person feels confident that things will work out between you. But you cannot ignore that not only are their feelings stressed, but so is their mind. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to go and watch your love readings for all the 12 signs, which are posted for the sun, moon, and seventh house placements. All of the April readings are already posted, and all of the readings for May 1st will come out on the first day of May. Or the, all of the readings for the month of May will come out on May 1st. Thank you, guys. If you chose card number two, this is the start of your reading. We have here the Five of Swords. Immediately when I see this Five of Swords, it kind of gives me the energy of there being some sort of um, confliction when it comes to this relationship on the side of your partner. Let's see, how does your partner think about this relationship? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This person we'll see either they feel like they need to take a break from you or they kind of want to take you away from the world and kind of keep you in their pocket they want to disconnect from you they want to take you somewhere that's their favorite spot um and i'm getting that it's because of this five of swords energy here where it's almost like they feel like wherever they are connecting with you now it, there's not enough space for it there's not enough space for them to speak freely, to to hold you, to um, embrace you, to to feel you. It's almost like this person wants to detach from the world with you, okay? But this Five of Swords energy does make me feel almost like their mind... Their mind and their feelings are on two different stances. What's what? What do they feel? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. So we have the Ten of Cups in reverse here. So yeah, like I said, their mind and their feelings are on two different planes here. On one side, they are yearning for time alone with you yearning for just you you know that moment when you meet someone for the first time and it's just you and that person in the room kind of that love at first sight right but then in their heart they have this ten of cups in reverse which i feel like for them they feel for some reason that they have to question the emotional investment that they have placed into the connection. And why is that here? What's this Five of Swords? Evidence in reverse and calm in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, it's possible that this person has jumped to conclusions uh, when it comes to this relationship here. They don't really have much evidence, uh, but they might just be someone that... Someone that... get stuck in their head a little bit with that five of swords i'm not getting that this is a, a disagreement or uh, mind games between you and them but more so that this is their own issue okay now they have calm here calm and retreat so it's like you bring this person inner peace you make their life feel simple amongst this five of swords energy here which tends to be their medium it seems like you make this person think deeper and feel right in their body okay but to them that feeling is not enough it's almost like they feel like they need some sort of um concrete proof that this is for everlasting or else they're gonna feel like uh, the feelings that they invest in you are good for nothing Okay, so the person that you are dealing with here, while they do enjoy you, they also face some feelings of of kind of being a bit of a control freak, I'm getting. Uh, but their intentions seem to be pure. They do just kind of want to bask in you, if that makes sense. Okay, 
All right, let's move on. Thank you guys so much for watching this reading. If you picked card two, and don't forget to go and watch your uh, readings for the month of May. And you can go and watch last month's readings uh, for April. Month of May readings will come out on May 1st for love for all 12 signs. Now those videos are for your sun, moon, venus and seventh house placement so go ahead and watch those and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for the ones up next if you chose card number three this is your reading we're starting off with the six of swords the person that you're dealing with feels like they have to sneak off in the night either to get away from you or to reach you. There is a sort of trouble in this relationship that has to be avoided, but it's not something that can be avoided outright. This is something that requires stealth, okay? So there is immediately an energy of trouble and hope at the same time okay but it's not easy to to reach stable stable waters to reach calm waters in this relationship to have um calm balanced and vulnerable feelings you know in this relationship the way this person thinks let's see what's that Stay optimistic about your love life. Here, that's what I said. There is hope. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yes. So like I said, there is something about this relationship that this person feels like they have to... It's like... Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, Get Smart where they are trying to go through that room full of lasers which has cameras sensors uh all of that that will you know kind of burn your skin off even at the slightest touch and set off this crazy alarm for everybody to come you know uh, and try and arrest you for stealing whatever was in the museum and it's like they are going through all these sorts of acrobatic moves and sliding across the floor bending their body in ways they've never had to before just to get this one thing for this person the one thing is romance this person the run the one thing that they want in the relationship is calm waters is for you to both emotionally feel safe again to feel secure and they are optimistic about getting there however they do recognize that for some reason it's almost like they're gonna have to trick you to get there they feel they think uh yeah i'm optimistic about it but i i know at the same time that um there is a an energy of i can't let on to what i'm doing because then i will experience resistance okay so how does this person feel okay we have the high priestess in reverse here so they do struggle with following a sort of inner guidance when it comes to this relationship okay so it's very possible that this person may feel like they have to keep a lot of secrets in their relationship and it's ultimately it comes from a place of not really trusting themselves in love it's possible that this person has left a um a harsh history of love experiences in the past and now they are dealing with you which seems to make them feel optimistic. However, they do crave a little bit more romance and vulnerability, and they do um, lack a, a feeling of safety and self-assurance when it comes to love, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching this reading. Don't forget to go and watch your love reading for the month of May, which will come out on May 1st. And then you can go and watch the readings for the month of April, which have already been posted and are for all the 12 signs for Sun, Moon, Venus, and 7th house placements. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching Planet J Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.